<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to ABC 25 Local Lifestyles. I'm Angie Humphrey. I'm Ron Rhodes, and today's looking a lot better out there. It feels so much better. We than needed what we had. some sunshine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. after a very dreary Thanksgiving yeah. weekend, that we spent, you know, probably indoors eating and stuff like that, which is great. Uh, and then yesterday was just like the dreariest day of them all. It was. And then now it's like, boom, onward and upward. Isn't that cool? Yay! And we have a full house today coming up yeah, today we do. on the show. Lots of interesting things for you. The musical group that wows the audience. Straight No Chaser is back in town, and we are going to meet cool. a member of that lively group. They're going to perform tonight. 911 Gives Hope Holiday Toy Drive Needs You. Chief Billy Bolin and WKDQ's Ryan O'Brien stand right over there, ready to talk about <laughs> it, tell you how you can help out. Yeah. Civic Theater brings the holiday flavor as well with another hit production with the longest title in the free world. Wait a minute, it, wait a minute. <laughs> you'll find out when you hear Kevin Dillon. Do, do you think Kevin remembers the entire title? I think he does. Okay. We, have a, we have a graphic, too. And Bryce Brackett <laughs> is here. He has a wonderful community give back, and you can get involved. So, yeah. You know, I'm glad thing, I'm here. Well, you did you you probably did theater all throughout your school. I was a theater major. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yes. And so it's like, I mean, but now it's like, and I did some plays in high school mm -hmm. too. Memorizing parts back then was not a problem. Piece of cake then. But then, but then we, we were asked by Matt Rao yes. to do like the Wright's Home Mystery. And which is, we had like a speech I, of this one. I line, had right? four lines. <laughs> and I still botched one or two of them every single time. It was like, it's one of those deals where it's like, man, I was much better. Well, we're better. just out of practice. It's not that we can't. Is that remember. what it we're is? We're just out of practice. Uh, I don't think. Because we always have the words r rolling out in front of us. I don't even it? have that. I don't even look at them. I try to pay attention. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's not a good thing. Maybe, maybe I do need words rolling in front of me. Let's Let's take a look outside right now, though. Plenty of sunshine. I love that. And we that are seeing a bit good. of a breeze. Yay. Yes. After all the gray that we've had. Now, we're not going to stay sunny. I wish we were for the rest of the day. We will see more clouds move in. But we've got it right now, and that's a good thing. Temperature-wise, at least we're warmer than what we were yesterday at this point. In fact, yesterday we topped out at 37. That's it. We're hitting 39. We're going to break the 40-degree mark. Woohoo! Ooh, yeah. Yes, here in about an hour. Southwest wind at 13. So there's a breeze out there. Not as windy as yesterday, but breezy enough to let you know there is a little nip in the air, but I love it. I just love the fact that the sun is back, and it's back, you know, in abundance tomorrow, really. So It cheers everybody up. It's going to warm up, too, it a little helps. bit. It helps. There you go. Are you ready to get to today's Daily Dish? Always. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's roll. Dictionary.com. You know, every year they come up with the word of the year. And, Ron, are you ready yep, for the I'm word ready. of the year? It's one of my favorites, actually. It's yeah. existential right. is the word of the year. Now, for those of you who are just not into that sort of thing, existential is an adjective that can be defined in a couple of ways. One is of or relating to existence. Doesn't that sound like a dictionary definition? Yeah, it really does. And the other is concerned <laughs> with the nature of human existence as determined by free will and free will choices. Existential became a part of the Eng English language back in the late 1600s. As for its current use, well, existential is used frequently in conversations about things like climate change, democratic institutions, gun violence, and pop culture. You know, it's funny. Is it just me, or does it seem like the, the last, like, several words of the year have been something kind of new to the language? You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a word that's kind of oh, new. Oh, something that was made been, up. Like, almost like it's made up, yes. you know? But at the same time, this has been around forever. It has. And it's it has. like, and now it's like, it's almost like they're digging out an old word and saying, mm -hmm. this is a new word. So. Maybe they're having an existential crisis at Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> we got to roll this one out and that see what's could, going that on. That could be right there. Maybe they just start, start plucking out some old words. I, I'm still waiting for something, you know, maybe from like the Middle Ages to come out pretty soon, too. Well, have you ever seen, I know Kevin has, the Shakespeare insult game? Or you use Shakespearean insults. It's so much fun. You played it, Kevin? Okay. Oh, no, wait a minute. Fun. I do remember I didn't take much Shakespeare in school, but I did take one Shakespeare course in school. And I do remember they said there was something that had to do, I forget which play it was, probably Romeo and Juliet. But, the, or, yeah, and they said the word nice actually meant smelly. Am I right on that? Somebody um, Google that. I, you got phones. You have smartphones that, over that, there. <laughs> something that's so. You know, basically just pleasant. The opposite now. of what it sounds. But it's, it meant smelly. Well, we'll look that. We've got the people are just, their thumbs are flying. An apple <laughs> that could last up to a year in the refrigerator is starting to hit the grocery store shelves across the U.S. Right. It took researchers and farmers two decades to make this cosmic crisp 
apple. Now, it's a mixture of an enterprise and a Honeycrisp apple. Uh, Cosmic Crisp was developed at Washington State University. The apple got its name from the little bright spots that resemble stars in the sky. Now, the uh -huh. acidity of the Cosmic Crisp supposedly prevents it from turning brown as quickly as other apples. There are 450,000 boxes available this year, but boy, in 2020, they're going to roll out with the 2 million boxes of the apple that will last a year. They need There's something worrisome about that to me. <laughs> Shouldn't things decompose? I mean, yeah, isn't that it's the almost way? like there's a lot of preservatives in there, you would think. But there's not, right? I mean, there's just some kind of like hybrid. I don't know. Super we'll hybrid that is. What they need to do is come up with like a super hybrid for an avocado so that it doesn't oh, turn brown. Yeah, three seconds, just as soon as you cut it open. <laughs> you cut it open, you're making some guacamole. Yeah. It's like it's already turning brown. It looks disgusting. Uh, yeah. But at the same time, I mean, it's. It is well, what it is, right? Crisp. That'll be their next deal. Let's put those MIT researchers on that uh, avocado thing. For instead of the alien. You research. know, Honeycrisp are very good. I know the Joe, he loves Honeycrisp. He's all about That's that. One. They're a little pricey, though. I bet these are a little pricey, too. Well, I, I would know. imagine, but you don't have to buy many of them no. if they're last well, year. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Just know. eat fewer, I guess. I can't even imagine how they did that. So <laughs> if you're looking for some great gift ideas, you will want to go to tristatehomepage.com for the deal, 25 deals of Christmas. Right. You're going to get at least 50% off from a local business right here in the tri-state. So as I said, head on over to tristatehomepage.com. Go to the community tab and click there and you'll see what the deals are. Today's deal is from Tri-State Athletic Club. You can get a membership and six personal training sessions for only $50 wow. and that is a $351 value. That is a deal. That is a deal. Head on and now there. that you don't have Cyber Monday or Black Friday finding deals, now you got to look, you got to look here. The 25 deals been, of Christmas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't, although, did you buy anything on Cyber Monday yesterday? No. Really? Well, I didn't have time. And you, <laughs> I was too busy. You're always busy, but you still manage to actually do a lot I, of spending. I, I, on I really Amazon. didn't. I, I really didn't. Did it, you? You don't have to be too did busy you buy the... anymore. I did not buy a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> His son wants a trench coat. But well, he calls it a trench coat. I think he wants an overcoat. But anyway, it's one of those deals where I mean, I mean, you do. You don't have to do but two clicks, and you got something on Amazon. I know that's kind of scary. You don't too. need much time. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll be right back with more lifestyles. Nine One One gives hope. Ryan O'Brien and Chief Billy Bolin are here to tell us all about it.